Hey guys, I have my AC 200 Max Blue Eddy battery and I finally got it to work. But if you're having an issue where the screen won't turn on but your power button does light up, I'll show you what I was able to do on mine. I saw a couple of videos where some people would pull it apart and sort of jump start it with the charger. That did not work for me. I did not see anybody else with the issue I was having. So I'm going to show you real quick right here what I did to make it work. Now, first let's get this apart. There are four long screws and then there are three smaller ones. Two on the front, one on the back. All right, let me get that done real quick. All right, guys, so I just got all the screws undone when you pull this up be careful because you have the two wireless chargers right here on top there's gonna be two connectors gonna be right about here on the inside so don't just pull straight up hold on i'm gonna need two hands for this all right, and these are the two cables I mentioned. They're gonna go down there. You should just be able to unplug them. All of this is behind the screen. And there is a diode. Let me zoom in. This diode right here, right next to the connector. If you could see it, you can see it better right there. Um, it's not properly placed. I, I mean, I try to do the best I could to get it back to the way it was. But that is the diode that I had to replace to get my Blue Eddy working again. Uh, whenever I would try to turn it on, it would smell like it was burned. A few days later, I noticed that the diode was getting rounder and rounder. And then I saw that it was getting dark carbon around it. And you could still see it. I tried to clean it as much as I could. But if you but if this is the part that you need to replace, they're not unidirectional, so it does matter which way you place it. I hope this video was helpful. Peace out guys.